Okay. Uh, gouging where a spiritual student is for their enlightenment and uh, and uh, assisting them and possibly in um, in wonder whether evaluation is going on. So that's the uh, question. Um, and I will be, my aim is to shoot some videos for teachers, spiritual teachers um, uh, who feel inspired. You know, when um, the, uh, you know, uh, as one is doing the work, whether it's the observer, Course in Miracles, cancellations, one is um, raising in consciousness. And so there is, um, there is a shifting from the old ideas of being run by the ego and the world being real and anything that comes from the thought systems to be any of any use uh, or any utility. So that switching is going on. And as one evolves in consciousness, there's less and less dependency and even experience of thoughts, uh, evaluation, all the mental mechanisms of the ego, which traditionally uh, before spiritual work have been thought to be the self, the limited self, the ego self. So as one is going up, you know, there's still vestiges of what seems to be the ego trying to make commentary and trying to offer suggestions, if you like, even though that doesn't make sense on a new non-dualistic plane. Uh, so it's like one is in silence and then, you know, it seems like, was that some thoughts trying to suggest I should do this, do this thing and help this student or not help this student? Was that coming from my ego? Or is that an inspiration? Or is this a, a divine in, in, intuition, an inspiration? Or, or what's going on? So there's a kind of a, I call it kind of a, the switchover period from going from absolute reliance, you know, enlightenment, to the transitory phases of um, being less and less identified with the limited self, the ego self, the body mind. So it's quite common for these things to go like, well, uh, you know, this kind of second guessing, maybe it was uh, my ego evaluating the thing, which is what I'm trying to get rid of to help this student, or maybe it was just coming out of the silence. Uh, so with that, um, all I'd say is, um, the key thing I'd say with that is um, uh, you, can, you can inquire into who wants to help the student and what is it and if there is any evaluation there, who is the evalua evaluation for? What are you that is sensing evaluation? And is there any desire or craving to help the student? Um, from my own experience um, as a spiritual teacher, um, the, the main thing to be aware of is, um, as one is going up, is that, um, in my view, nothing happens by accident. Everything is orchestrated uh, and uh, quite often in every situation there's what's called opportunity and temptation so you know students can sometimes be wonderful opportunities to advance and sometimes students can be also snared with um, um, ideas of specialness in the teacher or the student uh, that, like the teacher is going to be very special to save the student or the student's very special and the teacher needs to save the student. And so these ego dynamics can be temptations, uh, which should be, you know, uh, clarified, cleaned out. And uh, sometimes the intuition is to leave, uh, to not, to not, um, uh, to not interfere with the student because that's the, um, that's in the interest of the highest good. Um, and 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 to try and help the student would be um, temptation, um, you know, uh, or and also sometimes it is to help. So that that's a kind of spiritual discernment thing, to, and it would just depend on the context of the teacher and the student. Um, but sometimes, you know, sometimes um, uh, it's 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 not the right thing to 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 help and sometimes it is um, and how do you know uh, well I would say that the best thing for helping teachers is to either be um, part of an advanced group or to have spiritual mentors to make sure you, one doesn't make the wrong choices or starts going down the wrong 
uh, the wrong roads. I mean, if, uh, if um, you know, but if, if the teacher is seeing that the student is special, um, I would uh, I would look at that or that anything special is happening. Uh, so if 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 uh, the interaction between teacher and student has no specialness, then that's that's optimal. Or if there is specialness, to be to be uh, careful of that. Um, okay, so I'll stop there.